हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर पी सी कम्बोडिया एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश बी एस आर गवर्नमेंट आर्ट्स कॉलेज अलवर राजस्थान दिस वीडियो इज फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी ए पार्ट सेकेंड इंग्लिश लिटरेचर पेपर फर्स्ट टूडे वी शैल बी टेकिंग क्रिस्टेबल पार्ट फर्स्ट लाइन नंबर वन जीरो वन टू द एंड ऑफ the ballet on the last turn we had seen that cristobal is there with geraldine in her room her room is well furnished it is full of stone carvings the roofs are there and they have particular designings of the carvings then there is a niche in form of a fissure and that niche contains the shield of sir leoline then velvety carpets are also there in one corner there is a furnace and that furnace has got the stumps of the logs of wood now the stumps are there because throughout the night they were burning in order to keep the room of crystal warm and now they are towards the end and ash is there in the furnace there is a lamp made of silver it is hanging with the help of a u form of a chain and the ends of that chain are fitted to the ceilings then cristobal trims the lamp trims the lamp means adds oil and then sets the wick and it she furnishes it in order to burn it properly she gives a swing to the lamp and the lamp goes towards the spirit geraldine geraldine immediately falls on the ground because these evil spirits when they come in contact with metal and fire they become strengthless it is a myth then Geraldine fallen on the ground says that she is tired and she is strengthless then Cristobal says that she would offer her the wine that was produced by her mother and her mother is no more because she died when Cristobal was born so she brings the wine in order to activate and energize the spirit geraldine geraldine takes wine and then cristobal says that thank jesus christ and virgin mary who have saved them but geraldine is not able to speak out these names of gods and goddesses because she is an evil spirit and evil spirits are controlled by satan and mephistopheles but she takes another name in her silent speech and cristobal doesn't understand what is happening then geraldine puts a proposal in front of the fair lady cristobal that she would like to share her bed and she would like to lie nude this condition is there by that evil spirit because she is ready to induce some magic or charm and with the help of that magic and charm or the black art she will be able to steal the breath of the fair lady cristobal and will take it for eternal damnation forever and forever cristobal does not understand what is happening because she has been totally hypnotized 
एंड दिस डेविलिश क्रुक्ड प्लान ऑफ जिरेलडाइन इज नॉट अलाउड बाई द स्पिरिट ऑफ क्रिस्टेबल्स मदर हु इज देयर इमीजिएटली देयर इज अ स्ट्रगल बिटवीन क्रिस्टेबल ओन स्पिरिट एंड द स्पिरिट ऑफ द फेयर लेडी क्रिस्टेबल देन दगल गोज ऑन एंड इन द एंड ऑफ ऑल द स्पिरिट इज डिफिटेड जेरल्टाइन इज डिफिटेड एंड क्रिस्टेबल्स मदर्स स्पिरिट इज विक्टोरियस एंड शी इज सेव्ड देन ऑफ कोर्स हर body is blackened because of the spell or the black art that induced in her body cristobal kept on looking at her own body which was almost black now she could understood that what had happened geraldine had left and then the poet comes to the conclusion part and he says that the gods goddesses and the hermits are there they come to our protection from these evil spirits if we invoke to them and then we are saved now the question arises why geraldine visited cristobal sometimes some people do not maintain their moral very high they are afraid of ghosts devils and evil spirits we should not be afraid of these ghosts devils and evil spirits rather we should be ready to face them we should be a bold person and we should be ready to chase them away and the purpose of Geraldine to visit Cristobal was to increase her army like dissolves like or we find friendship of our own kind if we are a good person we would like to join the company of good persons and if there is a ghost or a devil then that ghost or devil would like to visit the company of the ghosts or the devils then they want to increase their number also so they keep on haunting from place to place and then they try to steal the breath and when geraldine was going away then she told the fair lady cristobal that henceforth you will not know who you are who is your father who is your mother to which place do you belong to you will only remember that one day some evil spirit came stole her breath and took it for damnation forever and forever but this does not happen why this does not happen because her mother's spirit who was not invoked at that time was ready in order to protect her daughter then this way colrids ends this ballad and we should try to remember that ballad has been in form of story there were repetitions in it and there was the touches of the medieval life of baron and the labor who worked as peasants and also provided their military services when required when their own baron or lord was attacked by someone else and now there is a setting of the supernatural machinery then that supernatural machinery is also there throughout the ballad right from the beginning up to the end we have this supernatural setting which is also one of the characteristics of the ballad 
those students who are interested to write a critical summary may send their answers to my mail that is cambodia pc at the rate gmail dot com. Thank you so much. We shall be taking another poem in our next video lecture.